Good morning, everybody. It's Brian Noble from TraderNoble.com with your week, weekly analysis uh, of the equity markets. Um, after a subdued last uh, few days, uh, we certainly got fireworks yesterday when the S&P fell almost 80 points from, uh, from Friday's close as nervousness over the election uh, next Tuesday and a surge in the coronavirus cases across Europe and in the States, which hit new daily highs uh, yesterday, uh, sent the, the market uh, corroding lower, lower. As we can see here in the 15-minute chart, uh, we have a huge gap now from the S&P from Friday's close at 34.65 to yesterday's high at 34.40. And as you know from, from experience with me over the last few weeks, all these uh, gaps eventually get filled. Yesterday we hit a low of, in the futures, the December contract at 33.56 uh, before rallying 50 points back into the, uh, into the close. And that rally has continued uh, this morning um, and we're back. We should be trading back above the 50 day moving average for the cash, which comes in at 3,400. Uh, if the market's open where we are indicated at the minute, uh, the S&P should be trading around 34.15 to 34.20. Uh, this is key because every time we've broken the 50-day moving average, we haven't stayed long, uh, stayed below for too long, and the market's always reversed back. Um, with um, McConnell coming out overnight saying that they, they've suspended uh, Senate until the 9th of November, uh, until the election is over. There's no chance of the stimulus happening before the election, um, which doesn't make sense, but that's, what the, that's the road they've gone. Um, and that added to the nervousness of yesterday. But as we can see from the, the bounce back that we got yesterday, it was quite, a, quite aggressive, um, with the Dow having been almost 1,000 points down at one stage before rallying just to close 650 uh, in the red. I'll just show you the Dow here. And the Dow, had, you know, we saw this huge red uh, line because down to 20, 27,380 before bouncing back to trade at 27,800 this morning as I sent out this, uh, this video. Um, again, the 50-day moving average is 28,000. Um, I will be a small seller in front of 28,000 with a 200-point stop, uh, looking for a move back down to uh, key support from 27,200 to 27,400, where I will be an aggressive buyer with a stop just below uh, 27,000. Um, if we go back to the 2016 election, we saw a lot of 2A price action uh, ahead of the election. And then once we got the definitive result, the market surged uh, and we had this massive rally for the last few years. I think something similar is on the cards. I think the way the, the charts are setting up, that if we do get, um, it, it, you know, it looks look more and more likely that Biden is going to win. But even if Trump pulls off a surprise, uh, I still think the stock market will, uh, will rally next week once we get a, a definitive result. And uh, there's no, you know, the, there's no room for, for argument or fraud or whatever that Trump will try and uh, instigate if he does get, uh, get hit. So for now, I'm a buyer. I'm still continue to be a buyer on dips, except for the, uh, the Dow, which is the one that did break its 50-day moving average. Uh, so I'll be set in front of that at 28,000. Moving on to the NASDAQ. Um, NASDAQ again, you know, since we spiked above uh, 12,500 with a huge sell off down almost 2,000 points, we rallied back to 12,250 and then we've gone back to a low yesterday of just below 11,400 before rallying back into the close. Again, uh, when the cash markets opened this afternoon, the, 50, the NASDAQ should be trading back above the 50 day moving average. Uh, again, wouldn't be seller of the Nasdaq. I think that you know, given, given the surge in Corona cases, people are still going to be working from home, and um, so tech tech is still going to do well in this environment. And the, you know, the Nasdaq is probably the safest market to buy. Again, if we do uh, have a sell off due to margin calls uh, this afternoon, I will be an aggressive buyer uh, anywhere in front of eleven thousand four hundred with a hundred and fifty point stop. Moving over to the uh, the euro, which has actually been very quiet. Uh, we've been just trading, you know, fairly uh, subduedly between kind of 116 in August to the recent high of 120 uh, a few weeks, sorry, in the beginning of September. Uh, despite that, we've been trading up and down through the 50-day moving average, uh, 50 points here and there. Um, a lot of people are looking for a stronger dollar. I still think the dollar is going to weaken over, over time. As long as we don't break uh, the 117 area, I think the, the dollar or the euro is very good value around 117.50 to 117.90. It just missed my buy level this morning. The, the low so far has been 117.96. Uh, so I'm quite a, a reasonably strong buyer uh, in front of 117.50 to 90 with a 
the 116.95 stock. Uh, just keep your position size small for the next few days until we get the election out of the way. And I'll be back uh, next week for a post-election analysis. Thank you.